it's Harsh Shakti from Mercy Today. So welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another book review. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Tom Gates series. Now, a few days back, my brother called me and asked me, uh, can you tell me some books for me to read in the summer vacation? In my school, they have uh, told me to ask someone in my family for good books and recommendations for us to read in our summer vacation. Well, I asked him, what kind of books are you interested in? He said, like, I like books which have both uh, uh, equal amount of pictures and text. I am just starting to read chapter books. Um, I also started reading books with a fair amount of text and less pictures. So can you just tell me some books which are in the middle, like, which have less pictures, less text, or equal amount of everything, fun, you no know, comedy, everything. So I told him, well, you can definitely try out the Tom Gates series. And also you can try out the Story Treehouse series. Now guys, I have already reviewed the Story Treehouse series in my channel. If you haven't already checked that video, links in the description below, go check it out. And if you if you just wanna don't wanna go to the description right now, you can also click right here to check out that video. So you can if you go check out that video, you can also get like a small uh, you can just you know imagine how this book would be. Now we're gonna talk about this first book, which is which gives you a brief uh, information about Tom Gates, the protagonist of the story. Now, when you look at the you know uh, when you look at the cover, everywhere you see doodles everywhere, literally everywhere. And like when you flap through the pages, you know it's gonna be really interesting. You have doodles and pictures in pretty much every every page. In some pages, they're like totally only pictures. Which makes it more interesting for the reader to, you know, read the book and understand the uh, storyline more easily. Now, the Tom Gates is an average fifth grader. Well, um, he likes to play the guitar. He and his friend, uh, Derek Fingal, they are in a band called Dog Zombies. They have created this band. Their favorite band is Dude 3, who are like their all-time favorites. They are totally devoted fans of Dude 3. They always look up on uh, this magazine called Rock Weekly, which they love, which is all about these kind of rock players, jazz players, and bass players. Now, um, everybody, I like uh, everybody, including me, has some people in uh, a school uh, who irritate us a lot, who we don't like, and who we see as a competition, or as just a normal irritating person, or a VIP, which is which stands for very irritated person, according to Tom Gates. Well, that person in this story is Marcus Meldrew. Marcus Meldrew with curly hair just always gets on Tom's nerves, and you know when you look at the back. Do not read if you are my grumpy sister Delia, Marcus Meldrew, who is an idiot. So you can see told uh, here that Tom literally hates Marcus and he uh, somehow he always, always gets put in the same group as Marcus Meldrew when he does something important. Now the writer, the author of this book, but Liz Picken or L Picken as they've given here is a very good doodler and a very good writer too. She writes books, all the uh, Tom Gates books in a way that, you know, you can literally tell the story with all the doodles. You don't need to read the, you, you don't even need to read the text because the text is also doodles. Now, if you see ages, the word ages will have a lot of cobwebs in it. So even younger readers can find out that, okay, Cobwebs. Now in our house we have cobwebs in places which haven't been cleaned for a long time. So maybe ages. Like you know the names are also pretty simple like Gates, Fingos, Fossils, like that. So I know uh, the readers of Tom Gates might relate and if you guys haven't already read the Tom Gates series, I would highly recommend it for you guys to read right now. Now the only thing common in all these books is how Tom manages to get through the school year. Uh, it's just like Harry Potter, but with a less action and more comedy in it. Now, in one story, Tom has this toothache, which which does not let him have, compete with other children in a lot of competitions and doesn't let him go to PE, which is a very good thing for Tom, actually. And he describes in a very good way his teachers, like Mr. Uh, Mrs. Worthington, who also Tom calls Mrs. Worthington Tash, because she has a mustache, like Tom thinks she has a mustache, but it's actually hair, just a little bit of hair, 
which is here. And uh, in this, uh, he also has his class teacher, Mr. Fullerman. Mr. Fullerman has big beady eyes. Big beady eyes. As you look, big beady eyes. Big beady eyes. So big beady eyes all over. Now, this book is also the winner of the Roll Doll Prize 2011, which is cool because Roll Doll, as you guys know, is a very good writer, and Roll Doll Prize is one of the most prestigious prizes. Now, this book, like I said, has the total comedy, and the titles are also pretty, like, you know, funny, like Brilliant Word of Tom Gates, Excellent it Excuses, Another Good Stuff, A Tiny Bit Lucky. <laughs> Top of the class, nearly. These small things in brackets in little letters is the thing that makes the title so, you know, attractive. Like, top of the class, um, our, our average title. The brackets, nearly. Well, that's the thing that attracts the reader, which attracted me too, actually. Now, there are other books like, you know, Genius Ideas, mostly. Absolutely fantastic at some things and other great books in the Tom Gates series. Again, you know, everything, everything, every book has something in common. It has something in common, which if you read all the books, you know, you'll understand what it is. But the best thing about the Tom Gates series is like, even if you haven't read the first book or the second book or the third book or the fourth book, you can just even pick up the ninth book and you'll definitely understand what the story is. Because each book has something in, uh, for you as a surprise and when you read it you'll slowly uncover it which gives you laughs this is also a good bedtime story of course if you want if your day has been stressful so far or pretty tough you just oh my god if you, you can just pick this book up and you can you know you know relate your daily life to this well well, this series is one of my favorite series, which is why I reviewed this on the channel, guys. So, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you like this video, leave a like on this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, comment down below if you want me to review some particular book in a big series. I have a lot of good series coming up for you guys, which I'm not going to review right now. But I'm sure you guys will like it. So, stay tuned for all those good series. You know, you can, I, I have a challenge for you. I was thinking about this for a long time. I am. I have already done this bookshelf tour. Okay. Uh, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't checked that out, go check that out. In that video, I've shown every shelf. Okay. I have. I have bought one or two books after that too, which I haven't shown actually. But I will soon review them also because they're very interesting books. Now. A challenge for you guys is to see what series is they I have and what you want. Uh, what you guys want me to review. You can comment down in the below in, either in this video or in the bookshelf tour video. I will definitely reply to your guys' comments. So bye.